x over 2023 equal to 2023 over y. We want to find this. If we cross multiply, x, y will be 2023 squared. Okay, and 2023, if you time factorize is multiple of 7, so it will be 2, 62, 8, uh, and 63, 9 squared. And you can say after that, 2897 squared times squared. Now, we know that AB to the power of M equal to A to the M times B to the M. So here, we can say by applying this 7 squared times 17 squared, squared next step we know that a to the m to the n equal to a to the m n so we can say it's 7 squared times 17 2 times 2 which is 4 so here we say x and y are interested we want to see how many answers are there if we determine x then y will be determined so the number of answers the number of x and y equal at first both of them are positive or both of them are negative because the product is positive so or considering sign we have two cases times for example let's consider x x can be 7 to the 0 7 to the 1 7 squared so we have three cases and for 17 17 to the 0 17 to the 1 because it's 17 to the 4 it is at most 4 17 squared 17 cubed or 17 to the 4, so we have 5 cases. So 2 times 3, 6 times 5, 30. So there are 30 answers for x and y, which are integers. Let me tell you why, if you determine, for example, x, y will be determined. For example, suppose x is negative 7 to the 1 times 17 squared. Then you can say y equal to negative. To reach this, say y is 7 to the 1 times 17 squared. Or for example, if it is 7 squared times 17 cubed, then you say, okay, y is also positive. Doesn't have 7, it's 17. So, like this, if you determine x as you saw, y will be determined, and the number of answers for x and y equal to 30. Okay, if you had question, send message to my WhatsApp number, and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.